Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back, back, back again today to uh, watch another Amberlynn Reed video. Now, I am a little bit behind because y'all know I don't film on the weekends. <laughs> well, maybe you don't know, but now you do. I. I do occasionally, but it's not really something I'm trying to do. I like to take the weekend to spend time with Noel, with the dogs, with the pups. And this past weekend, I was uh, dog sitting my friend's dog. And so it was just crazy busy this weekend, and so I didn't have time. So we're a bit behind. I did miss out on a video called This Is Not a Weight Loss Series, which no duh, <laughs> no shit. And then also, we, today we will watch Cook With Us and Grocery Haul, the video she uploaded on Sunday. And I'll give a, like a little recap situation type of deal about the video we didn't watch because there are some good, good things that we miss. And by good things, I mean like things of interest, things I found funny that I wanna share with y'all. And of course, as always, I'll leave some timestamps so you can figure out where you wanna go for those different things in case you don't want a recap of that video and you just wanna see my reaction to the video today. And of course, before all of that, I just wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Harry's. Harry's believes that everybody deserves a great razor without getting ripped off, and they want you to look your best. So they sent me one of their little starter kits just to check out for my channel and to share with you all. The starter kit comes with a razor, and it's got this cute balanced handle, very cute, I love the colors, and it comes with a five blade German engineered razor cartridge. I love the texture, and it has like a nice nice weight on it. It also comes with a foaming shave gel that has aloe in it and also this nice little travel cover so that when you're traveling with your razor you can put it there, put it in here, boop 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 so that nothing gets hurt. I'm somebody who stresses a lot about shaving. I don't love it. It's not my favorite thing to do and I mostly stress about it because when I'm using razors that are disposable or things like that, like I usually just find them to be so uncomfortable. I found that using Harry's razors and shave gel has just really helped give me a more comfortable and close shave. This starter box is a $13 value and you get it for $3 if you use my link that I'll leave down below in the description box and a pinned comment. Thanks so much again to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to use the link down below. Now let's get to, let's get to. We got a little bit to recap. I will say, I know there is some drama related to a video that Becky put out regarding her relationship with Amber Lynn and some things about Amberlynn's sexuality and stuff like that. I honestly don't wanna say a whole lot about it or comment on it. I did tweet a little thread, so you can go follow me on Twitter, go look on my Twitter profile, and you'll see what I had to say about it there. Uh, but in general, like, I think that Becky and Amber Lynn's relationship was messy. We obviously don't know all the details of everything that went on because Amber Lynn did not show all the messy things that happened in their relationship. Um, and I also know that sexuality is complicated and it sounds like it's complicated for both Becky and Amber Lynn. And so I don't want to muddy the waters by giving my two cents about other people's sexuality and other people's relationships when we don't have all the details. But I do encourage you, if you want more information, to go watch Becky's video about it. It does sound like there are some very frustrating things that Amberlynn might have uh, put her through. And so, you know, I think everybody has a truth and Becky is sure welcome to share that, right? Yep, okay, all right. But I don't have anything more to add to it than that. Um, I just hope that they're both able to find um, some peace moving forward, particularly Becky, and that's that on that. So like I said, Amberlynn did upload a 20 minute long video called This Is Not A Weight Loss Series. I can't remember, I think it was like day five of her 10 days of vlogging, weighing in, counting calories, and trying to walk challenge. And the thumbnail is her chomping down on some, some ramen on a cup of noodles. It all starts off great because she's like, I have no idea why I'm tired. I don't know what it is or what's happening, but I have like no energy, I'm tired. 
Yeah, after a weekend of just eating takeout, sodium-filled food, etc., Amberlynn Reed has no idea why she's so tired. And surprise, the psychologist that Amberlynn is talking to, who doesn't agree with any of her beliefs or ways of going about losing weight, recommends a book that completely conflicts with everything that Amberlynn thinks about weight loss. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to make the most of what she tells me to do. So if she wants me to get this book and she wants me to try reading it, then I'm going to do it. But I feel like it kind of is going against what I'm trying to do here, like by counting calories and such. But you know what? It's all going to come together. We're, we're going to figure it out. I will say later in the video when she's discussing this book more, she reads something in the book and says, we love this. So the first thing is going to be introduction. This is not a diet book. We love this. So girl literally makes no sense. Uh, she She's obviously here just reading the title of a section of the book, having not actually read it, so who knows if she actually loves it or not. There's no sense to be made out of this nonsense here. She does weigh herself in. She's 496. So she does eat the cup of noodle that is in the thumbnail and shares her story of trauma. It's a movie about trauma. It's a movie about trauma. And the movie is about trauma. The 2018 movie obviously was a movie about trauma. The whole last movie was a study in trauma. From like, allegedly when she was four. Well, she scared the out of me and it spilled all over my leg. And she also shows what wifey is eating. Ramen, toke. Tokotsu. Which, like, I wish she would just stop trying to pronounce words that she doesn't know how to say because it's embarrassing. And surprise, for, like, the third, fourth day in a row, she got Starbies, which, like, listen, I used to get Starbies every day at work when I worked downtown regularly on a regular basis, and that was just because I needed coffee in the morning, and sometimes I didn't, frequently, I didn't have time to make it before I had to get on the train to go there. So like, I get it, but I also didn't have two vanilla scones and a cake pop every day. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really have anything to say about this particular clip, but I feel like if I had to see it, y'all have to see it. When you look up chronic dieters. And good news, wifey made some homemade meatballs. And by homemade, I'm pretty sure what she really means is that wifey made a sauce and put it over some frozen meatballs because those meatballs did not look handcrafted, mother approved at home. And Amberlynn also makes some stovetop stuffing for a snack. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. And God damn it, Scratch Art made its way back into this video. But there is good news, she heard us, even though she full on spent like two minutes of this video showing us all the scratch art she heard us i've heard you guys loud and clear seems like a lot of you don't enjoy seeing this so yeah yeah that's all of them you guys will never have to see these again so hopefully she sticks to her word and i never have to see a goddamn piece of scratch art from her again Ever. And basically she wraps up that video just talking about how she doesn't want to focus on weight loss in her videos, but then it's like, well girl, what, first of all, have you been doing for the past five videos, but also like, what other interesting content do you have to show us? Because quite honestly, the what I eat in a days that she's been showing us have been far more interesting than like the past... I don't know, easily two months of her content where she was just like showing the most mundane, boring shit. So anyways, that's that on that. That's all I got to go over from that video. There was more stuff that just was boring as fuck, so we didn't talk about it. So I am excited to get into today's video, which is cook with us in a grocery haul. I hope, I hope, I hope so much she actually cooks something just purely gross, pure nasty. <laughs> I just, I just have an urge to recreate an Amberlynn Reed recipe. So I'm hoping that's what we get here. A nice homemade recipe that I can recreate in my own kitchen and try on camera for you all. But regardless, let's just get to get to, shall we? Hello, welcome hey. to day six. So that means we are halfway through. Oh, oh, um, I well. <laughs> 
<laughs> over halfway through, but yes, I got you. I get what you're you're saying. Yes. I have a little bit of an anxiety moment, so if it looks like I've been crying, that's what I've been doing. I, so I actually could not tell. Uh, like like you, I always say. Like I always say, whenever you comment anything on your appearance. You literally look the same as you always do. So unless you're crying all the time before you start filming, like, I, I wouldn't have guessed. You could have said absolutely nothing and I would have been like, this is just another day in Amberlynn Reed land. First meal. I am having a good old cup of noodle. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you know, because it's just... Easy. Of course. Easy, beautiful. Uh, all these chess piece moments. Girl, I literally just put this uh, on. All, literally, you're not. I thought normally when she accidentally shows the chess piece, like she ends up adjusting it so it's not focused on her chess piece. But we're just looking at the chess piece. That that's what's here for us. Clean from my closet, and there's already cat fur and dander and dog dander. So yeah, first meal, 290 calories. I have not weighed myself, but that's fine. While this is in the microwave, you're gonna weigh I yourself. Will okay. Do just that. Work. I will weigh in, and I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna be up weight from yesterday. Well, well, what exactly do you? Ex I mean, like. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I watched the video yesterday. You didn't try to do anything different. I also don't believe that it's just like a one day at a time thing. Like, I don't truly believe that one day has that big of an impact on you. And honestly, if you went and took a shit, you could probably weigh the same as you did yesterday, honestly. I'm just putting water in this. Also, doesn't she normally weigh herself without clothes on? Is she really going to put this ramen in the microwave? And then go get naked, stand on the scale, get dressed again, and then go eat the ramen. This is the microwave. I know you're not supposed to, but I grew up doing it, so. Okay, you guys, so my next meal. Wait, I thought you were gonna weigh yourself. We didn't even see you finish with the ramen. And now you got a bagel? I'm having two mini bagels. Actually, two of them is a serving, Work. which kind of surprised me, for only $2.50. I could go for and a bagel right now, like, but like a good bagel. Whenever I went to Indiana University, there was this Bloomington Bagel Company, the BBC. <laughs> BBC has so many different connotations for me, but the Bloomington Bagel Company, they had such good, good bagels for being in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. Mm, I could go for one of those right now, besties. Like, do I want sweet or salty? Like, I had no idea. So... On this Why not one, both? we just have some grape jelly. Okay. On this one, we have some of the grape jelly and Why? some. Why not? Just original Philadelphia cream cheese. If you if you wanted both, why did you do it half and half? I don't understand that. Like, if you wanted the taste of the, the grape jelly with the cream cheese, why did you do half and half? I mean, maybe she didn't want that. Calm down, Zachary. Stop nitpicking. Here... We have the... Ooh, uh, some chives? Which one is this? Does that cold? have chi chive, chive and, and onion? onion? Cream cheese. Yum. And then this one, so these three are cold. This one, I put a little bit of butter and a little bit of the cinnamon sugar stuff. Uh-huh. And I put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, so this one's warm. Work. <laughs> so yeah, I could have decided which one I wanted. Okay. Calorie-wise, not bad on calories. It's 375 calories. Work. 250 for the bagels, 80 for the cream cheese in total. I just added them together. Also, somebody said, Zach, please don't, please stop telling her work. Please stop telling, what do you want me to say? Me, me saying you shouldn't eat that or you should eat this. She's not going to listen either way. I have, I literally, it doesn't matter. It's not like she's out here. Even if she is watching my channel, she's not taking my advice on anything. I'm, who am I to tell her what to eat or not eat? What can I do? I'm not encouraging any kind of behavior. I'm, I'm, I'm simply watching and I'm saying work because I would eat those bagels. <laughs> I would eat every single one of them. I'm not gonna lie. And then for the jelly is 45. So I've never actually done this cinnamon situation type deal okay. before. Oh, taste test? So let's do taste a taste test. Taste test moment. 
So good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm, uh-huh. Baby, it's so good. Mm. Okay, that hits the spot. Okay, what spot? Boys, this is so good. What, what spot are we hitting? And she did say so good. I'm so glad she included that. Okay. And then, the purpose of half and half on this oh. one. Oh, she's going to explain it to me after I just got done nitpicking about it. Good, good. Let's hear. Let's hear. Is to eat the two flavors at the same time. Okay, then then I am pissed. If that's the point, then I am pissed. Because wouldn't it be easier to eat the two flavors at the same time if you just put the jelly on top of the fucking cream cheese? She's crazy for this. <laughs> I'm pissed. Bad idea? Maybe. But let's try it. That is not bad. There is nothing bad about... Putting cream cheese and grape jelly together is not a bad idea. It's not even a weird idea. The the most annoying thing about this is that you put half on each side because you wanted to taste it together. That's the dumbest thing about this. So good. Wait a minute. She does have that refined palate. That is so good. Wait, I want my glasses. <laughs> I told you. You guys... Why is she acting like she invented something fancy, like people haven't put fucking grape jelly on top of cream cheese on a bagel before? I'm so irritated. Do this. I'm not steering you wrong. You, you're, you're not, because it's not a creative idea. You're not the first person to try grape jelly and cream cheese on a fucking bagel. Okay. We have a little tiny grocery haul moment type deal situation. Okay. Okay, first things first. I got two bags. Oh, she did have these in the last Dillon video. Sour cream lentil chips because they are delicious. So good. So I'm trying to find foods that, like, when I feel the urge to binge, like foods that resemble like high calorie, bad for you foods that I would normally binge on um, because I'm not gonna stop binging overnight. It's not gonna happen. So. I, uh, I mean, true, yeah, you are not, you have not. It has yet to happen, you're correct. I mean, I don't, I feel like this is something though that you could talk through with your psychologist that seems to be helping you or that you enjoy talking to. They're airy, it literally says light and airy lentil chips. Um, for half of this bag, which a normal bag of chips, like half of the bag is like a thousand calories. Uh -huh. Okay, not half, okay. It's I mean, like Marcus Welby. Pretty high up there, like 700, 800, but for like half the bag of this is like three something. So it makes me feel less bad. Okay. I also got some veggie burgers. Ooh, I got okay, work. black bean quinoa. Sounds so good. Work. Yes, it does sound good. Also, I'm a little hungry. I mean, it's not even quite lunchtime. I got a few hours before it's lunchtime, but I'm so hungry right now. And Amberlynn is making this look so good. I got a spicy chicken. Work. Veggie burger. And. Well, that's not a veggie burger. That's a, that's a fake chicken patty. Just the original chicken patty morning star, which I've had those. I just haven't had the other. Is she, she's, is she, I mean, like, people can eat plant-based food, whatever they want, but is she trying to be vegetarian? I mean, not really. Literally, in her last video, she just ate meat, so never mind. But, like, does she, does she like to eat? I don't, I feel like a long time ago, she tried to be vegetarian and it didn't work out for her and I feel like I just like honestly truly just I don't know I feel like she could be in a better place if she just ate the regular like just a chicken sandwich or something you know like I don't I mean all of this food is processed anyways you know what does it matter what does it matter like I said she's not she's not out here watching my videos listen to what I have to say so live your truth I guess whatever that might be I guess two before I also got some broccoli okay I come on fresh broccoli. veggie we love broccoli in this his house 
Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. Got some oatmeal, some oats. Love. We got some Mio Energy. Oh, yep. The, I'm sure the Mio drawer, <laughs> the Mio drawer is running low. My girlfriend likes these, actually. So no, don't put this on your girlfriend, girl. When you talk about drinking them, you're the one that dedicated a drawer to them. Why does it have to be about your girlfriend now all of a sudden? Those little water enhancer We bottles. know what fucking Mio is. So in flavors, strawberry pineapple smash, tropical fusion. I don't use these because I'm trying to lay low on caffeine. Which you are such a lie. You are such a lot. What do you mean? You have talked about using them before. Am I going? Am I going crazy? Am I the one with the wrong remembrance here? Is my remembrance off? I got two things of oh, just regular chicken. Um, chicken breast tenderloins. Okay. You want to freeze one with the one in the fridge? Uh, gl glad, then, glad we got some chicken to go with our fake chicken. Two ground turkeys work which is what she likes to make her meat it's just so crazy that she got all of this stuff and like for the past five days i feel like we've not seen her eat anything homemade period <laughs> like like maybe one meal we've seen her make like i'm just like are we actually going to see any of these things turn into a meal on your channel or are they just gonna sit in your fridge and we're gonna see all the bad all the bad choices that you make, or bad, whatever. With that's actually what we're having tonight. Oh, so good! So we might get to see it. it. So yeah, that's everything. Now we're gonna put it away. And yeah, wait, did I do my weigh-in? I you did not. Four ninety-six point eight. Yeah. Okay. So I was four ninety-six point eight. So totally, totally, totally trust that. Totally. I mean, not that I care what you weigh or don't weigh, but like. You seem so confident that you are telling the truth there, Bestie. <laughs> totally, totally believe it. Totally. So, I gained weight from yesterday. It was no, 0.8 yeah, of a pound. Am I right? It was 0.8 of a pound, and if you're gonna blame fluctuations here, then let's talk about fluctuations when you lose 0.8 of a pound, Bestie. I uh, I don't disagree. I, I have said time and time and time and time and time again that like when you weigh yourself day to day, you should probably expect to see it fluctuate one to two pounds either direction. <sighs> okay, so next meal. What is I that? What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It looks like a, mm, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say that. It looks like a leaky bottom. <laughs> it looks like a messy bottom. And does she have two more vanilla goats from the Starbucks? Did she go back to the Starbucks for like the sixth day in a row? Are you, the, I mean, I've had those little vanilla scones before and I do enjoy them. And I know what they look like when I see it. Like you went to the Starbies again? away for too long but i'm okay i'd rather it be too hot and explosive it looks summers. like explosive <laughs> something cold. so this is just one of those frozen chicken burritos it's 240 calories and over here i have two vanilla scones and per one is 120 calories so it's 240 so this is 480 calories. It's 400, gonna... 500, 480, whatever. It's just like, I think about the meals that I have with like lots of veggies and you get so much more food for the calories. If you would just like, I feel like, yeah, I would be hungry after I finished eating this. That's not going to fill your stomach. I'm going to go eat this. I'll probably watch some YouTube. That also Catch looks up. like and explosive diarrhea. I'm behind on every single person that I watch. So... That's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, so we are about to make a dinner. And I figured I would do a little. A little who? A little what? My settings on my camera messed up. I don't know how to fix I can it. tell you've been looking at yourself way more in, in this camera lens, whatever, looking situation type of deal. And it's been really distracting, if I'm gonna be honest. But wait, hold on. Whatever, we're gonna ignore it for now, but um, we're gonna do a little montage of us cooking. Oh, come um, on, cooking. This situation's a deal because we got the oatmeal and the meat. 
baby, baby, I, if you didn't read the side there, because her grocery list of two things, right? There's also a message on the other side that says, baby, I like who I am becoming when I'm with you. Because with you, I can let my hair down. Say what I want to say, crazy, do 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 Jessica Simpson, a classic. Look at the sweetness that I get to wake up to. Sweetness, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. She Baby. Wrote, Baby, I'm liking who I'm becoming, being with you. Isn't she the sweetest? Sure. I'm keeping that oh up my for God. a lifetime. You know what? I'm kind of annoyed that she she does the oh my god thing. I really am, because that's like a thing that I just do. Like, I sometimes, you know what? I should just let her be, let her have it, because I sometimes do that situation type of deal to her. I.e. I just said situation type of deal. So if she wants to take oh my god from me, go for it. Go for it. All right. Oh, uh, we're getting, we're getting the royalty free music while we're cooking. Also, this better not be clickbait because the title of this video says cook with us, but if we just see wifey cooking and not you, Amberlynn, I swear to God, I swear to God. Oh, oh, she really is making these meatballs homemade. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm I'm sorry. I do apologize. I said in the last video that they were not homemade and well, I'll be damned. Look at that. They're real, they're really homemade. And look at this editing. They're just showing up. They're just popping up. It's like magic. They're just appearing in the pan. Nobody's putting them there. It must have taken Amberlynn hours to edit that. <laughs> hours. We got some rice. Okay, this is all wifey cooking though. I'm sick of this idea that it's cooking with us. Amberlynn ain't doing shit right now. Amberlynn ain't doing shit. Oh, she's cutting some broccoli. Is this not the meal she just had in the video yesterday? At least it's not takeout. I swear to gosh. But is this not what she just had? All right, so the meal is completed. It's really too bad that, you know, we just had the royalty-free music the whole time because it would have been lovely to have a voiceover to let us know what you were doing how you are preparing all of this. It would have been way more interesting if you're looking for my feedback, which you're not, like you're not gonna take any of my feedback even if you are watching, like I already said, but that's just what I would suggest. It would be nice to see and hear and hear, see and hear what you were doing there. Dinner is complete and for a roundup, this is 700 calories. That's in so, total. so much well, rice. Mohammed is used to- I feel like that, <laughs> like, like why do we have to have like two cups of rice? Also, I should probably not put my foot, knee up there like that. You're getting to see all, all the goodies. But at the same time, I definitely feel so I'm gonna forget about yesterday and just take a step back and have a nice morning together. How how interesting watching you eat and watch 90 Day Fiance. So this is I'm not the only quirky. I feel like this is such a scam because this is from yesterday. This is from yesterday. She they sat down and had the same exact goddamn meal and watched 90 Day Fiance in the the video the day before. Is she reusing footage? I I want to be conspiracy land over here. <laughs> But it kind of feels like she's just reusing the footage. You want in this relationship? <laughs> so this is her plate. She always eats her vegetables first. And okay. she said she never noticed until I pointed it out to her. Oh, Me. So, so weird. I so like quirky. Like together at the same pace. Does anyone else eat their veggies first? So weird and so quirky. This is just a real quick trigger warning. Next okay. clip is of me playing Mario and the screen is flashing a little bit. Oh, I was like, is is, Mar is Mario, we need trigger warnings for Mario, but I get it. If, if flashing screens does something for you, don't, don't watch this part. 
Okay, so we're playing Mario Party. Oh, I see what she's saying. So you can barely notice, but... Game on here to see who wins. I'm Peach, of course. Of course. And I love Peach. And she is Yoshi. I love to play and as Princess Peach. And then obviously we're playing against the computers. Waluigi and Wario. We're all in this together. And it... We no, have it on no, mute no, because no, usually no, we're no, like no, 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 watching something on YouTube. It's usually Chantel. Not. Or why does she keep bringing up? Why are you proudly admitting that you enjoy watching her madness and her nonsense? Why would you proudly admit that? Why are you still standing by this woman? I do not understand, Amberlynn. I do not understand. She is truly a god awful person. Oh my god. Oh, I remember playing this game back in the day. This particular mini game. Oh my god. She's actually so annoying. She's she's actually so annoying. Yoshi wins as per usual. Good job, babe. What are you taking doing? taking something I enjoy, like Mario, and making it insufferable? Only Amberlynn. Okay, so instead of binging on McDonald's like I really wanted, okay. I had three servings of these dill and sour cream okay. lentil chips. They're absolutely amazing for three servings. Was for This is like the third time she's talked about these chips in like the span of two videos. So they must be real good. But it was definitely worth it because... I don't know if I've ever seen them in real life to try. I should check it the next time I go to the grocery store because I'd be down to try them. I'd be down to try them in a video. <laughs> Maybe not a whole video dedicated to trying them, but she has talked so possibly about it. I, I just feel like I should try it, you know? I got a lot. Sadly, when I am in a bingy mood, that is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for quantity, not quality. I see. I'm working on it, though, I promise. So I forgot to add that during the day, I did... Wait, you, you didn't binge on McDonald's, but you somehow got a McDonald's diet Dr. Pepper. Shit's not adding up. <laughs> Shit's not adding up. Did order a fountain drink from McDonald's. It's a bad habit. You'd be surprised. It's an expensive habit that I hate that I have, but I'm did addicted. You, did you have it Uber Eated? Uber Eated. <laughs> did you get it on Uber Eats? Or did you just send wifey to go get it? I'm confused. Like, why would you do that? Is this the is this the fifteen dollar diet coke all over again? I swear to God. The Dr Pepper. I've always loved the um, diet coke. Of course. But I've always hated diet Dr Pepper until I tried it from McDonald's. Hater. I don't know what it is. Hater. Get that get that hating out of your mouth right now. Get stop being a hater. No, don't don't come for a diet coke or diet Dr Pepper. I love all my diet sodies. If I'm being honest with you. That aspartame just hits different. It's literally addiction in liquid form. So I did end up getting one of those. So this is the ending of my video. So I figured I would go over some stats. Okay. Come on. Reminder to Come on, mathematician Lynn. Yes, I love math. If you didn't know, I, I ended up with a math minor, but at one point I was a math major in undergrad. I At the end of it all, I just got a math minor. So I do enjoy a little math. Hit me with the numbers, Amberlynn. Hit me with the numbers. Today's weight was 496.8. And when it comes to steps, I had zero energy today. She's, so she's just real not trying. Okay. I need to get back into walking, you guys. Motivate me. Scream at me in the comments if you have to. Well, girl, scream at you in the comments. This is from a month ago. <laughs> what good is it going to do now? I'll scream at you. Go walk. Go for a walk. Find a tree to walk to. Like, I don't know, bestie. I don't, I don't want to say too much because the last time I talked about you walking to a tree, you got real mad at me. But when it comes to calories, I feel like I'm so proud that it's like, a perfect area for me to be at. Sure. I didn't overeat. I didn't binge. So 2,200 calories. 
perfect spot for me. Okay. So I have genuinely been having so much fun have, with this series. Have to you? Showing you guys what I'm eating. Have, um, have you? While maintaining my weight and working on my not, eating disorder. Not maybe a season two. Be- <laughs> Bestie, what do you think this is? We're on like season 32 maybe of, of your channel. What do you mean maybe a season two? Is it going to be the exact same thing? Is there going to be any plot twists, new characters? Can we cast somebody new, a new friend, somebody else to show up in some videos? If we're getting a season two, then I want, I want character development plot development, new characters, something. But we're, let's be honest, this is like season 32 at this point. Honestly, um, maybe a season two could happen if you guys like it. I don't know. I know I love it, but let's not get us ahead of ourselves uh, here. You um, shouldn't. I'm just enjoying it. You, and I hope sh- that you, guys you better not. Well. You, yeah. you haven't even finished this 10 days yet. Let's not start talking about a second set of 10 days. Let's, let's be honest there too. <laughs> Honestly. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will definitely see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Love you guys. And I do appreciate you guys watching. A Thank lot. you. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Wow, what a journey <laughs> we went on today. I don't really have anything more to say than what I've already said in this video. So uh, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to use my link down below if you're interested in getting your starter box. Normally $13 for just three dollars. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all my social media, including my gaming channel where I'm playing Stardew Valley, and also follow me on Twitch where we do stupid reactions to not Amberlynn Reed content. I had so much fun. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!